Welcome back to What Are Tea Noobs for General Disturbance. This is the Hummel, the tier 6 German SPG. This one's located on the eastbourne of Sand River Encounter and it's under the command of Angelina 75 of Olymp and it's her first submission for the weekend lying competition. Talon won it last week. Can Angelina win it this week? Well, two marks of excellence on the barrel of that Hummel. And she's got the short howitzer, which of course is the stock one, which is the best one to have because of course it's got a much faster reload. It's got a more accurate gun. It's got a better trajectory. Everything about this RT makes it better than the other one. It might not have the range, but range is not everything in fact. In fact, the um, having the ability to have the, uh, well, having your shorter range means that you actually do have to get close to the enemy. You can't sit at the back. You have to move forward. But of course, the other factor is the number of shells you get. You get more shells with the stock counts than you do with the top one. And that makes a huge difference when it comes to fighting a battle because with the other one, you can actually run out of shells. No, it actually has happened. If you're not careful, you will run out and that leaves you doing absolutely nothing for the rest of the battle, except possibly spotting. Now for the moment, Angelina is stopping the enemy tanks from moving up towards the cap area uh, on Overwatch. You can see she's effectively denying them the positions they would like to stop our guys from going in and starting a cap. And you can see the M6 sitting there. Bounce out. Direct. Oh, it wasn't a direct hit. It was actually a near miss. All you have to do to relocate is just to move a little further back, a little further forward, or change direction actually, just change your angle to the enemy. Direct hit there, that's for certain. 109 hit points this time. Difficult to hit that one who's hiding in the little rock overhang, but she can definitely hit these guys. Almost loaded. Oh, that one's going to stun. The standard reload with the stock character is 25.31 seconds. But you can see here, Angelina's got it down to as low as 20.50. Uh, oh, she can hit him again. You see that last shell actually hit the turret. Ah, now she's hit the frontal plate. She's decided to go for him again. There's an M6 just across the way who could do with a few shells. Oh, she got a direct hit. And that guy is now a splash kill. Now, the other RT on our team is an M44. Former the, uh, formerly the top RT at tier 6. But uh, now... Of course, the SU-8 is the better one. That just lands in front. Two up on the enemy so far. That's a difficult shot, that one. Oh, well... Some other shots have actually come to mind. She's got a red um, grayed out line there. That indicates it's over maximum range. So she can't hit that spot. She needs to move forward. But she can get a shot on that M6. And in fact, she splashes him for 58. Oh, 
Now, she'll probably take that M6 or is M4Y out of the game next shot. Okay, she's loaded. There you go. Wait for him to stop and loose it. Oh, she overcorrected there. Rounds out. Yes, she got him. Well, there's something she can do here is to go into the village just north of the river and um, shoot from there. Gives her a different angle. The alternative would be to actually go on the south edge of the map. She's not going to stay in the village. She's actually decided she's going to get directly north of the cap area. Okay, that KV-3 is trying to set up a little nest or barrier of wrecks. No, that shell didn't connect. Wasn't fully dialed in. Just mark the ground to say that's where I'm aiming. KV-3 pulling back. Oh, no, that Panther 2 bit presumptuous of him and he takes a hit for 173 unfortunately he did take out our is so there's only three enemies left now the panther and the two kvs there's one of them and it looks like he's been shot in the uh, in the muzzle breach. In the muzzle break, it's actually showing a little bit of red, which also indicates which gun he's got. He's got the 122 millimeter on that one, whereas the other one actually has, I think that's the 85 millimeter gun. She fires straight away, and that's it. The game's over. Well, towards the end of that battle, it was difficult to see what was actually going on in the riverbed, but the enemy tanks were being taken out one by one. And Janina managed to get a second class tanker out of that game, as well as a bruise medal for getting at least five critical hits. She got five exactly. Her win eight was 1,132, which is good, but not excellent. Let's have a look at team score. Well, Angelina didn't get the highest damage. No, that went to the T69 LAR team, who actually picked up a top gun for 2,685 hit points. Second highest being one of the KV3s on the enemy team, got 2,064. I suspect that's the one with the 122mm gun, who actually got that. And in third place was the M6 on the enemy team with 1,994. Angelina picked up 725 hit points of damage. Not a huge amount. Uh, normally, Angelina would come in with much more than that. I guess it's the, the angle she chose to shoot at actually wasn't giving her great shots on the enemy. When it came to the number of kills, you can see the T69 got a top gun. He got six. Three kills went to the M6 on our team and also to the KB3 on the enemy team. In fact, only five members of the enemy team actually managed to get kills in that game. And Angelina just got one kill out of it. But when it came to base XP, it's the T69 again. 1,166 went to him, 856 to the M6, 853 to the Super Chaffee, who also picked up a Scout. Our M44 got a Confederate, and Angeline got 602 out of that one. So a little way down the table, actually. Let's have a look at detail. 16 shots fired. So she didn't fire enough shells, but she only got six hits. And no penetrations, 14 splashes, 725 hit points. A lot less than we'd normally see from Angelina. She'd normally be way up in this 1,500, even 2,000 hit points of damage. She managed to damage four of the enemy, kill one, and did that 338 hit points of stun assist off 12 stuns, and that was only good for a second class. On a free-to-play account, she actually made a profit of 5,235 credits, and that's even after paying for the consumables, 
and 1,204 experience points out of it. She says, not much of a game, but it does put her in the lead. And that is true because we can now see that this is the score that Talon held the lead with. And that was only a third class and a bruiser. And of course, he got his mark of excellence in that game. But uh, a third class is beaten by a second class. So Angelina now holds the lead. And Talon's going to have to come up with something better, maybe even a first class or an ace to win the weekend lion. So we'll wait to see which replays they come in with uh, towards the end of the week. It's now Thursday, uh, probably tomorrow or Saturday we'll see another replay from them. I expect so. If you enjoyed that replay, please give this video a like. Do subscribe to our channel. Leave a little comment down below because it feeds the algorithm. And thank you for watching.